shit, one of the realest shits I ever wrote was my, um, the intro to my mixtape alone. That was one of the realest shits I ever wrote. How's it go? It go like, my hard times with me a grown man. Remember when I used to hide the work inside a soda can? Cops pull me over, I ain't going, I ain't getting jammed. Stanley hitting licks just to get some money in his hand. Back on Garfield, I used to like those days. Hit the pool, fuck some hoes with my AI braids. Me and Cam fighting niggas, had our psycho ways. But God had me in his plans, cause my life done changed. I used to sit and think about how my ass can make a meal. I was, mm mm, uh, 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 fuck. I hate asking mom for money, cause I know she got bills. So I started robbing niggas, but I didn't like the stuff. Saw my uncle sell drugs, back then he was the plug Everybody showed him love from the hood to the club I used to think that shit was cool till he got locked up And to me he was my idol, yeah that shit fucked me up My grandmother used to cry every time he went to court I used to hide behind the shed just to smoke a Newport Stop smoking cigarettes cause it was hard for me to breathe Now I'm tearing down stages, making waves, they believe Fuck a trend, I don't need a friend, I just need a Benz My loose ends knotted up, now they can't comprehend Pray my ship, stay afloat, but if not I'm gonna swim I'm a baller these niggas, even if I'm wearing Tim's, cause my mom go to work every night of her life. Her back fucked up, but for me, she making it right. When it was dark and I ain't have it, she still gave me the light. Uh, uh, I don't remember all the rest, but yeah, that's how it went, some shit like that. I said a lot of real shit. And that's a mixtape that, like, people didn't even, you know what I mean? Like, people didn't even, I don't even think it's on my SoundCloud anymore, bro, now I think about it. But, like, it was on Spin Real and shit. So it was like, but that shit was called Life. Hey, man, it's Lil Skies, and you fucking with Montreality. We lit. Pipe the fuck up. I love y'all. Yeah. <laughs>
I when I say like if it's some for somebody I care about, like yeah, bro. Like I done did a, like I'm just nice. You feel me? I got, I'm not one of the niggas. Like, I don't fake. I got feelings. I feel like every human got feelings. You feel me? But I'm one. I like to keep that shit interesting. You feel me? If I'm in a, I'm in a relationship, I keep that shit interesting. You gotta keep the spark there. You feel me? I don't want to be no boring nigga. I don't want my girl to be boring either. You feel me? So, but the most interesting thing I did, I mean the you said the most like. Like, the most romantic thing. Fuck, um, bro, I don't even know, bro. Like, no bullshit. I'm literally, like, I do this shit so much, bro. Like, I can't even, I can't sit here and pick and choose one. You know what I mean? Like, I really can't. Cause it's a, it's just for all the women in my life, too. I don't even say, like, romantic. Just, I, for all the women in my life, bro, I take care of them so much. I don't even, like, I do that shit naturally. Flowers, everything, whatever it is, I do it. If it's corny, I don't give a fuck. I still do it. You feel me? What just a show I care. Stage. Oh yeah, I've, yeah. For my mom and shit, like just my mom, I just gave her like a couple. I ain't gonna say too much. I gave her some shit. You feel? Me? I gave her a couple bands on the stage and shit, and it was like good feeling, bro. Cause that's what I do it for. Rap about that shit, my music so much is like shit. Is I hope people see like, man, this nigga really living. I ain't do it for that. I'm just like, that's my mom. I do that shit all the time. But it's just like dope to be able to do it on stage. You know what I mean? Like what I love to do and bring her out there. Shit was sick. <laughs> Top of your lungs for X. Yeah. This shit is beautiful, man. Let's go. Bro, I just want keep X name, keep X living, cause X is great, and I feel like the world knows X. You feel me? And it's like, damn, we done lost somebody that was like so great, bro. So I'm trying to just keep it going. Like that's why I say legends never die, because X one them people, just like Peep, they're never gonna die, bro. They lit forever. Like they're lit forever in this life. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's crazy because I, I'm not the type of person. I don't. I didn't broadcast me an X relationship or anything, but I definitely talked to bro, Facetime a couple times. And like, you feel me, he was really like that. Everything that everybody says about X, like the positive shit and all that, bro, X is like that. He call you, check on you, all types of shit. He's a real ass person. I feel like it's crazy because that's how I be doing shit. You know what I mean? And I just like, I fuck with the genuineness and the realness. So of course, you know, my wave, how I am and shit. I'm trying to just, I want, I support that. You feel me? Cause I love like this. He changed his whole life around some better. Just like, you know what I mean? And that's like, and you can see he was really, working hard to be a better person at all times and it's like shit you can't do nothing but applaud that you know what i mean shit my message to the youth bro to all these kids i would just tell all these kids to keep chasing your dreams like literally and don't use the internet to the best of your advantage but don't let that shit get to your head bro i feel like a lot of kids nowadays they just let that shit get to their head and it's like you can use it but use it for positive reasons don't be using to talk shit on other people or hate on someone else because they're doing better than you you gotta use that shit as motivation you see somebody winning that should make you want to win too so to all these kids like you can be just like me i'm still a normal ass person you know what i mean i'm still learning how to be deal with being famous and shit like that so like it's 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 it's, it's it's something, it's a challenge for everybody. People don't realize once you get in that position too, you got big shoes to fill. Just because you get in a certain spot, that means that there's more work. Once you get in that spot, it's gonna be another spot you gotta get in. So there's gonna be more work. So to all the kids, keep chasing your dreams, keep working. And literally, you gotta believe in yourself before anybody believes in yourself. I learned that, like, you're gonna have family that don't believe in you, friends all types of shit, but just use all that as motivation to shit on those people, bro. You don't even gotta talk shit about them, just shit on them. That's the best thing, bro, It's just winning. Just keep winning, you know what I mean? But don't be scared to lose. You gotta definitely lose before you learn how to win. Shit, to someone that's rock bottom, bro, I'll just tell you that you definitely got way more to live for than what you know, you know what I mean? And you gotta, when you get at those lowest points, man, you gotta, you gotta really look at your life and be like, man, I'm unbreakable, bro. Like, nothing can break me. And people got to realize, I want to tell a lot of people this, this is life, bro. This shit's going to be good for a, one day, then it's going to be bad the next. It's going to be, you never know how it's going to be. This is life. This shit is survival, bro. We all trying to figure it out. You know what I mean? Everybody's trying to figure this shit out. So don't let somebody else make you feel like, oh, that you don't have a purpose or something gets you down to make you feel like you don't have a purpose. Because every human, everybody was born and put in for a reason, whether it's good or bad. But you, I'm telling you, a lot of you people are great people, bro. Like, I, I've been telling y'all, man, don't, don't do that shit. It's not worth it. And then think about, too, what else you got around here for the people that actually do care for you? Think about what that'll do to them. You know what I mean? I've been in that situation. That shit took me completely out because I'm like, damn, I can't see my mom cry for some shit that I did. Like, shit, I, I shouldn't 
I have my own death. I should die naturally. However it's going to happen, however God has a plan, that's how I should die. But I shouldn't do that shit myself. You know what I mean? And then, yeah, if you believe in all that other shit too, like the afterlifes and shit, then you know you definitely don't want to kill yourself. I definitely want to go to a better place. Montreality Show. I can do bad on my own and go myself. I never needed no help. I needed you niggas. You wasn't right there. If you need me, little nigga, I'm still gonna be here. My vision was blurry and now I see clear. You wouldn't believe what I made in the year. Straight in the zone, I'm sticky as hell. I run Atlanta, I should be the mayor. Like, that's like one of the really shit I ever spoke right now.